Hello, hello everybody. Hello replay viewers. Thanks for stopping by. Um, if you don't already know, my name is Kathy Grillo of Kathy Grillo Designs. And you can um, email me at kathygrillodesign at yahoo.com. And you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all these lovely little um, social medias. <laughs> and if you'd like to follow me or and see my art, you will see some digital art pet portraits, fashion illustration, and graphic design. So I'm glad you took you some time and stop by and say hi. I appreciate it. Appreciate it very much. Hello, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Alright, and also the other exciting thing going on right now is mark your calendars. May 14th, I am going to be a guest on Viva La Creative. There I am with my little dog, Chewy, and there's one of my drawings. So on um, the 14th, I'm going to be a guest. This is a Blab talk show. So save the date if you want to come talk with me. <laughs> All right. So I am painting currently. Thank you. I am currently working on an Afghan hound. Oh, just how let's find it in progress there it is open this up here there it is this is what I'm currently working on and actually it's almost done I'm just working on the long hair on, in his body I really have just to color the tail right now and then I'll come back and add in some more um, details <sighs> Afghan hounds have very long flowing sort of thick hair and um, this dog happens to be like a champagne color. So I'm being a little creative with my coloring. And I'll show you my reference picture here in a second. Uh, let me scroll down. All right. And so this is my reference picture that I used. And I'm really just using this as... Um, basic example. This is just, um, I'm going through all the dog breeds and this isn't for any specific person. So it doesn't have to look exactly like this dog because it isn't somebody's pet. It's just to be an Afghan hound. So this will be a stock photo picture people can buy prints of if, you know, they're crazy about Afghan hounds. I don't know. I'm just practicing all dogs. Just practicing all the dogs while I wait for an order or two to come in. All right. So I'm pretty happy with the face. I think this face came out. Let me get a nice close-up for you. I think the face has come out pretty good. And especially since it's going to be far away, it doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm transitioning into the long hair and working on the tail. So I want to get some color in this tail. Oh, I don't like that view either. Oh, hi, Kyle. Everybody say hi to my son, Kyle. I think he's at the other end of the house. Are, are you? No, you're out eating, right? I love you too, Kyle. Where are you guys going for lunch? <laughs> he's all like watching. Oh, my mother's on a mirror all right, so actually I want to get a little closer on this tail and just line up my drawings so I can kind of see what I'm working on. People are not very chatty today. I want to do the darker color first. You're going to Taco Bell. Dang. Okay. Maybe ask if you, well, no, we just had breakfast. He's not going to want any Taco Bell. All right, so I'm just going to lay these colors in. And just doing some shading here. And then we come back and blend it with the water. It 
exciting stuff, I know. Just trying to get my, my scope in. And now nobody's here, but it's alright. So Kyle's off getting Taco Bell. That was my son, everybody. I'll put a little color in. And you see the tail has a little more color, so we're going to build this color up throughout here. Just kind of play around with it. And I'm going from the back. And I'll, I'll loop around just so that when I get over here, the um, effect of the hair is on top. So it makes this tail look like it goes behind. Hello, how are you, Laura? Good to see you. What are you up to today? I'm working on this dog. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you really quick. Oh. This is what I'm working on. And I'm getting the basic colors in. And I'll come back and do some more um, smaller work. So this is the fun part. I don't really have to be too super picky about it. It's getting the basic shapes down. I really like this like orangey color he has because this champagne color dog does not have a whole lot of um, color. He's kind of a beige and white. So being able to accent with some of this um, warmer brownish color is nice. So this tail is going to have hair on it. Now, as it starts flipping over, the hair starts flipping out a little bit. See, I knew this would happen. Like, the weather gets all nice, and your periscope numbers drop. <laughs> I haven't been on periscope in the summer. Uh, I think I started periscoping um end of September. Um, maybe beginning of October last year. So, when the weather started getting bad. <laughs> so now when the weather starts getting nice, I would assume, that would be my assumption, I guess, that it would be normal for, during the day, people are going to be out and about, right? I will be out and about, too, on the weekends, for sure, as we just bought a boat, so if the weather is nice, there's no way I will be sitting inside. If anything, I will be sitting on my boat. And I don't have a data plan yet. I'm working on it. I'm working on my husband to get my own data plan. But since I don't have a data plan, I can't really scope when I'm out on the water. So I'm trying to get all my time in now with you guys. Before the weather gets super nice, and then I'm out and about. Because I'm hoping most weekends we'll be out doing something fun. But I will still always be here during the days on um, Monday and Friday. Those are my days that I am not at my other job that pays money. <laughs> be nice if this was my job. That's the dream. If this could be my job, that would be awesome sauce. So I'm working on it, but I'm not quite there yet. All right, so I'm kind of flicking it around. I don't know if you could see on the tablet, but you can see how I'm I'm kind of going the same direction any of the hair would be going. And I'm letting it flick out here on the side. And none of that is really going to show up too much until I put a background layer in. Um, I could do that really quick, actually. Just not the, this, is, well, this won't be the background that I use. 
but let me just put a fill color and it fill all right so you could kind of see oh and I don't like that color either but I'll, I mean it'll be some sort of grayish or sometimes I don't know what kind of color I'll end up having back here but ew, that's hideous yeah who knows these stock colors are not I never use them all right whatever but you could see the lines a little better now once I put the dark color on and I'm working on it this is when I will come back and um, I don't even care what the color is. All right, whatever. Okay, get that out of there. This is when I will come back with my handy dandy eraser. And I will, wrong layer again. I need to watch my layers. And I will erase like that. And then also the outline for my sketch, this will all get cleaned up. So you won't see any of that when it's done. It'll be like this, and these lines will be cleaned up because I'll be able to see where they're all at. Whereas right now you can't really see where they're at because I'm on a white sheet of paper. So that's your contrast that you'll end up having, which I will put on probably shortly when I'm done with this tail so I can finish it up with all the details on the um, right color background. All right. So when I come in with the details, I want them to look nicer. This is just a, getting the basic um, color layout. And... I'm tired. Yeah. Excuse me, folks. And my parents here for the night, and they got my bedroom, so I didn't sleep the best. I'm a little tired today. So this little orange color kind of goes down into a streak. And it comes out to the champagne color. This tail fans out. A little bit of gray in here. And then I'll bring my favorite blender that I like to use, which is my water. And I'm going to bend this tail in. So even the hair on the tail here is kind of long. And as the tail, which isn't very fat, but it's curly. So as it curls, the hair kind of sprays out. All right. All right, so I'm kind of here with this dog, and I'm going to work on getting more of the details in here. Wait till we open his picture. This is just my reference picture, but I'm going to come back on his body and work in some more of these browns and um, help define a little more of his shape with the color and shade and that's sort of where I'm at I'm gonna mess around with that
catch up on my DVR now since I don't have anybody really chatting here today. But I just wanted to ch touch some, you know, quick little touch base with you guys and let you see where I'm at. And let you know I was thinking about everybody and I hope to see you soon. And enjoy the day, y'all.